In this lesson, we are going to learn about kinematics of rigid bodies. Okay, so up until now, we have learned about kinematics of particles. Now we are going to move on to rigid bodies. Okay, we already know what is a rigid body. Rigid body is a body in which the distance between any two particles is always the same. Okay, so however this body moves or in whatever way the forces acts on this body we are always assuming that the distance between a and b is always the same okay or in other words you can also say that relative position of a with respect to b is always the same okay in this course of study, we are going to be basically concerned about what is known as plane motion. Okay, so how do you define plane motion? Plane motion is simply a motion in which all particles move in parallel planes. Okay, so all particles of your rigid body they move in parallel planes. Okay. So, I'll just write it down for you. All particles move in parallel planes. So, this is basically applicable when you have a rigid body which is symmetrical. Okay. So, let's just say that you have a car. Okay. The car is something like this. And we are assuming that the car is symmetrical about this plane. Okay. So, if you can understand the motion of particles in this plane, then you can understand the motion of the entire car. Okay. So, let's just say you have a particle over here which has a velocity something like this. Okay. So, a particle which is in a plane behind this plane is also going to be having the velocity equal in magnitude as well as direction okay so when that happens when all the particles they move in parallel planes okay you have a front plane in which particles let's just say particle a is going like this particle b is going like this particle c is going like this then you have a plane behind it in which the same scenario is present okay you have one particle like this one like this and one like this. So, in such a case, you only need to analyze one of these parallel planes. Okay. And you can analyze the motion of the entire body. So, such a motion is known as your plane motion. Okay. Basically, this plane motion is similar to the motion of a flat body. Okay. So, if you have a flat disc, something like this, okay, let's just say its thickness is very small, okay. So, this body can be assumed to be a planar body, okay, and the motion of this body would be plane motion, okay. We only need to be concerned about what is happening in this particular plane, okay. So, the same concept we use in symmetrical bodies in which we are going to be concerned about only one of the planes and the entire motion of the entire body can be understood based on this particular plane. Okay. Now, this plane motion that we have learned can be of three types. Okay. It could be a translatory motion or translation. Okay. It could be rotation about a fixed axis, okay, or it could be a general plane motion, okay. So, a motion which is neither a rotation about a fixed axis or a translation is a general plane motion, okay. First, let's understand what is translatory motion. We say a motion is translatory if any line inside the plane always has the same direction or orientation. So, if any line